This video will demonstrate the CRAP test in action. The examples here are taken from a class in which students were assigned to find and evaluate articles from a database that would be appropriate for college level academic research. Their topic was barefoot running. Here's an article from the New York Times. That's certainly an authoritative source. But if a professor asked for peer reviewed articles, then this would not count. This is a newspaper article and is completely different from a peer-reviewed article. That aside, this article far short on reliability and purpose, R and P, of CRAP. This is a very, very short article that essentially promotes a product on aesthetic grounds. There's barely any info here to evaluate. And what is here seems more like a press release for Nike than academic information. Just because you found an article in a library database doesn't mean that it's automatically good to cite it you still have to make sure that it is substantive and contains relevant content. Okay, here is another New York Times article. Here is the whole article, and it is quite lengthy. This one has real substance. It reports on a study and ends with evidence-based conclusions and recommendations. It passes the CRAP test. It's current, reliable, authoritative, and has an unbiased point of view. We can go one better. We can track down the source of the information in this article. I tracked down the study that was being reported on in the New York Times and found a copy of the article in our library's databases. Now you will be able to evaluate the research directly and follow the citations in the bibliography for more information and for further evaluation. This study was published as a peer-reviewed article, and so if you are required to have one, here it is. The authors state that they are not in cahoots with any shoe company. Great! That information helps us evaluate their point of view and assess that the results aren't biased. So that is how you apply the CRAP test to evaluate sources for your research. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian. Now go out and do some evaluating on your own.